Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the first Arma episode in the alternate history series where we're looking at what could have happened if Operation Unthinkable would have been put into place. So this is of course an important time for you to like this video to let me know uh, that you enjoy this type of content and subscribe if you want to see more of this because we've got a whole series ahead. Now if you didn't get a chance to watch the introduction, I definitely recommend you go back and watch that to kind of be in the know on what's kind of brought us up to this point. But the forces that the Western Allies have put into the field to try and help push the Soviets out of Germany are going to be going on the attack in one of the largest engagements to date. Now, our objective here, first off, is going to be a checkpoint uh, along the border between Russian or Soviet-held territory and that being held by the United States. We've got a lot of forces amassing in the forest around this area waiting to attack a town that is an important crossroads as we try to continue to push into Germany. So let's get to the briefing for this. Of course, this is going to be taking place in Europe. Just to kind of put some reference onto it here, here are some of the modern day borders for some of the countries. This is what's called the line of contact. So this is where uh, the armies are kind of at right now. The United States and the uh, armed forces of Great Britain are off in the West. And of course, you've got the Soviet Union and all the territory that they've gained off to the right for the german resistance berlin of course is the objective to try and clear it out so those of us who were formerly part of the 32nd infantry division are going to be moving to the town of shirau now this uh town as i said is absolutely important uh in this area the german forces want to hit a little bit closer to the central and southern portions of uh germany so that way it frees up the northern portions if the Western Allies have to push through. So if we can go ahead and capture this town, which is on the border, it should allow us to be able to move a little bit deeper, have freer access to uh, some of the deeper parts behind Soviet lines. Of course, the Soviet Union knows how important this particular place is and have defended this. There have been a series of attacks, uh, of attacks for the past couple months from uh, German resistance fighters, you know, kind of going in a guerrilla style engagement. So the Soviet Union is on alert right now, knowing full well that an attack could come at any time. Now, of course, they don't know the type of scale uh, of an attack that they're going to be facing right here. So we've got, of course, a Panzer up here. We've got armor. We've got uh, vehicles loaded with troops who are willing to fight to try and push back the Soviet Union outside of Germany. I'm going to be leading a squad myself as we first off try and take that one checkpoint before these other forces come through and try and reinforce us. So that's gonna be our main objective right here. We do know that between our position and the checkpoint, there really isn't going to be any enemy. So we're in a pretty good position right now to be able to move up. A squad that we have should be sufficient to take the checkpoint from the reconnaissance that we do have uh, of the checkpoint, especially when you consider that we do have the element of surprise as we try and push up and take this particular checkpoint. So we're going to be going through the woods here for quite a bit to be able to provide us some additional cover. Uh, we don't expect, again, to be coming up against any Soviets in here since we are still on the American side of the border. The Americans have pulled back just for plausible deniability at this point. Uh, and there is a little bit of a buffer between the Soviet checkpoints and uh, those that are being held by the Western Allies. So this is kind of like no man's land basically right now or an area that should be demilitarized at least. So we've gotten through this first part and it looks like we're going to be coming up to a road. We've gotten really close to the checkpoint. You can see we're just about four or a little over 400 meters away. I am a little concerned as soon as I poke my head out that we would come across some Soviets. And I don't know if there's some patrols going on around here. So everybody else, we're going to have them kind of cross the road right here. And I'm just going to hold right here as everybody moves up just in case we do see a patrol come around here. This is probably the place where we're most likely to be seen before we go ahead and push on to that checkpoint. Now, the, the woods that we have off to the right will provide us some cover until we get basically right on to the checkpoint. And I think that for us is going to be the area that we're going to engage the Soviets from. If we can engage them from within the trees, it might be difficult for them to hit us. At least it's going to provide us 
some more cover. So I've gone ahead and changed uh, how we're going to be approaching. You can see we're ducking down a little bit. We're moving a little slower than we were before because once you get sub 200 meters away, uh, AI could spot you at any time. Now to help us, we've also planted somebody right here to kind of distract the Soviets a little bit. So this civilian has been stopped at the checkpoint and they're gonna be more focused on him than probably focusing on what's happening in the woods. So if they hear uh, a twig break or something like that from somebody stepping on it, might not be thinking too much about what happens because they're more worried about this guy who's come up to the checkpoint. Now, as we are 100, almost 25 meters away, I can start to see through just some of the breaks in the trees where the Soviets might be. And I'm hearing some of the members of my squad calling out here too that they've uh, spotted some enemies here as well. So I've got everybody holding fire because we're going to open up at the same time and I don't want to uh, start the fight here until I'm ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the machine gunner here covering the left. He's going to have one of the riflemen with him. So I'm placing two and three right here. I'm going to move down just a little bit more. You can see what I'm going to do is I'm going to space out this squad. So four and five are going to go right here. Again, we're going to have them laying down as well. And then I think if we, if we still have more enemy at the checkpoint, I might have everybody just go ahead and rush up if we need to. I'm going to move down a little bit more. I'm not spot, uh, spotting anybody through that opening on the left. It's more off to the right. You, you might be able to see some barbed wire. There's the officer who's out talking with the civilian. And he's gone ahead and put his hat on, which lets us know that we should be in a great position here to engage the enemy. They don't have any vehicles or anything like that that could overwhelm us. Right, I'm going to place a few more there. So now all I have left is 8, 9, and 10. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the more dangerous route. I'm going to get up close and actually try and go into one of those openings and see uh, if I can engage the Soviets at close range from behind while everybody else engages them on what would be their left flank. All right, moving down just a little bit more. We're almost at it. Uh, you know what? This might be all right because I see somebody through those trees. Okay, we're going to put 8 and 9 here. And then I'm going to keep 10 with me. He's... Uh, He's the one who's still crouching right now in the camo. All right. I see an opening off to the right, just uh, farther right than where I'm looking right now. And I think that's where I'm going to stick my head out. I'm pretty sure just about everybody has a target or spots the enemy here. If not, as soon as the enemy does open up, those who don't have eyes on a target will probably find one pretty quickly. Okay, so this engagement will start as soon as I come around here and see what we're up against. I'm just waiting at any moment to give the order to open fire because I'm worried that the Soviets are going to spot me as I come out of this. And if they open up on me, I need to be able to have the full support of my squad. All right, let's see exactly what we've got here as far as enemy forces at this checkpoint. Still no fire yet, which means I must be doing something right. And I don't think there'll be too many, if anybody, off to my right. So I'm focused more on my left. Okay, looks like I've got eyes on four people. They've opened up, so let's just go ahead and do this. MP40 trying to get a couple hits here. I don't know how many of these guys I've taken down, but I 
think those four are down. I'm taking a lot of fire, so I'm going to be pulling back here. Hopefully, 10 is going to be moving back with me. He's off to the right. I think he might be dead. He's behind that tree, and I don't really want to poke my head over there too much because you can see we've still got some guys who are up here. There's that officer. The civilians run off. Okay, so that officer was staring me down. All right, we're going to get everybody up. And we're going to have them start moving on the checkpoint here. Oh, we've got more guys on the other side of the checkpoint, it looks like. Maybe take some pot shots at them. It's hard to get a hit on this guy since I've got the vehicle... Their transport vehicle right there up in front of me. Okay. Time to stick the head out again. There's some more fire coming from the trees, which are from my squad. And it looks like they're trying to return fire on him too. Maybe they've forgotten about me or they just don't care at this point. Oh, I thought I hit that guy. Sweet. He's down. Those leaves falling above me means somebody's firing in my direction. Get everybody moving up some more. You know what? I'm okay taking some of this fire as long as I can stay behind this tree and it goes ahead and prevents the enemy from firing at my own guys. Yeah, that officer still just looking in my direction. But it seemed like that there was some fire coming at him from my own guys and he is down. Okay, this left side of the checkpoint looks clear. I'm moving up here. I got to take a look at the right side. So I'm going to use this vehicle for cover as I move up. Yep, we got a couple guys there. I didn't get anybody. Time to throw one of my grenades. Potato masher. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Never mind. That was a smoke grenade. Well, on the bright side, it, uh, at least I took him out. That was enough for me to poke my head out and take these guys down. All right, so I just got to be conscious one more time of any patrols, but with this white smoke that's out here, uh, if there is anybody patrolling the area, they definitely would have heard what's going on, and this white smoke's going to point them right in the direction that we're at here. So we've got to make this pretty quick. As far as making sure that uh, we've taken out everybody and then moving on to the main objective, which is going to be that town. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and load everybody up into the vehicle behind us now that we are sure that uh, this area is clear. And then we'll kind of use that to link up with everybody else. Since we're here to take out this checkpoint so we can have the Panzer and the reinforcements in the vehicles kind of pop through. That's why I go ahead and open the gate before I go ahead and get inside of this truck. Get everybody loaded in now. And our forces should be on the move now that we've taken this checkpoint. There's been a couple other checkpoints around here too that other units would have had to go ahead and take. So I don't know how well that they have fared, but we're gonna find out in a little bit as we get to town exactly how many forces we have to try and take it. Do feel confident that we are going to have enough, as I mentioned in the introduction. Uh, the Soviets aren't prepared for uh, the amount of forces that we're dedicating just to this one attack, but it is critical that we do what we can to be able to push deeper into Germany if we have to cause some more problems for them in the rear of their lines. Okay, so that was the town off to the left, but I'm not going to go straight into town. Because I do know that they have uh, some sandbag emplacement set up along the roads. So in this one commandeered Soviet vehicle, it's not going to be enough for us to be able to push through those uh, emplacements without taking some casualties. And I'm starting to hear some fire off in the distance to my left. So it sounds like that the main assault on the town has begun. So if that main assault has problems, we will have reinforcements for sure. You can never go wrong with having armor. I'm going to take a left right here. 
I can't remember if it's this road that I'm supposed to f link up with forces here for our assault. I don't think so. So I'm going to take a left. Oh, there it is. It was just that one road up ahead. So we do have a tank and a couple trucks loaded up with soldiers. We're going to link, as I mentioned, we're going to link up with these guys and push into the town. I'm going to break away once we get a little bit closer, but that panzer should provide us a good amount of cover here. Okay, off to the left here is where that main force should be coming from. It's almost a direct assault on the town, but they were able to get up a lot closer because of these trees. So they don't have much open ground that they have to go through before they get to the town. I'll take the rear position in this column. Hitting at about 35 kilometers an hour. Is how fast we're going here, which not too quick, but we've got a tank up ahead that we have to worry about, and it looks like it's not going at full speed. Probably doesn't want to stick its head around somewhere and get taken out by Soviet anti-tank weaponry. Okay, this is a good spot for us to break away from. What we're going to do, and see there's our forces off to the left. We've taken some casualties. They've been trying to get out into the open. What I might be able to do here is it, if I can rush up to this construction building, I might be able to use that to clear out some of the enemy within the town. This seems like that it is that this is heavily fortified. Okay, so we're going to get everybody out here. And I think I got here just in the nick of time as the sandbag emplacements watching this road have been cleared. Okay, so the squad's getting out. Looks like we've only lost two so far. Okay, that guy is dead. But we've got some Soviets that are off in the distance. So once I move into here, this is where things get pretty risky now. Got to look around here. Oh, I'm taking some fire off to the left. I'm going to use this box for cover. All right, got to reload. See, with the MP40, the hope is that one of these rounds is going to end up hitting the enemy. This is be one of those times where it would be nice to have a rifle instead of a submachine gun. All right, but he's down. Okay, we're going to keep moving. we got to clear this construction building. Oh, got somebody up ahead. This is where it's nice to have a submachine gun. Okay, so maybe I do have the right tool for the job. All right, we got somebody in here. Maybe throw a uh, potato masher in some of these rooms if I need to. Yeah, see, there's a, a Mosin sticking out. All right, so throwing that one in. Oh, somebody's running over there. Okay, I got him. We've got a lot of guys at close range right now. My squad's going to be holding up right here, it looks like. Try and take out some of these guys that are along this road. Ah, I've been hit. Fortunately, not not so bad that I've been killed. Apply that bandage and we'll get back on the move. I thought I saw somebody else in here too. Yep. So my grenade didn't kill everybody in here. I'm nervous about just rushing in there since we've had three guys, but in my head and it looks like I'm going to be just fine. Oh wow, I've lost a lot of my guys. I've got three, seven, and nine left. And I wouldn't be surprised if three's actually been killed here seeing that he's been wounded pretty badly. Oh man. Reload and try and get this guy again. My last grenade and I think I bounced that off the side here so I don't know if that ended up taking him out looks like I have an M39 war trophy oh yeah I did take him out sweet okay time to move up here to the second story oh we've got somebody right here Do 
Wait, what do we what do we got here? Trying to find the stairs that'll go ahead and lead me up to the next floor, but this doesn't take me anywhere. At the very least, I know that that this part's clear. I'm pretty sure it's that corner. So I guess I'll have to just come around here. Cleared. Like, I'm nervous just running down this hall without having checked all these rooms. And I think my guys would have taken them out if there had been anybody. Alright, we've got some casualties from both sides actually up here. There was a sniper up in that tower or that silo. He's been killed. Alright, second story here. What do we got? Well, I'm not seeing anybody. I've got a body off to my right. Oh, I'm down to just three. The one guy who I thought was dead has ended up surviving the longest. Oh, man. They lost another person. So it seems like that the main assault on the town was engaging those who were firing at him from this building. Yeah, cause see there's another couple bodies. So this building might very well be clear. See this third story is pretty open. I don't have to clear much. All right, let's go onto the roof though. Yeah, there's one person who's dead. Two. Oh, wow. We must have pushed in into the town pretty far. Or maybe he would have gotten hit from the left because it looked like he was facing into the town trying to catch anybody from behind. But he's dead. I've got somebody up there in that building. I don't know if you saw that, but the trucks had some dead friendlies in there. So they've taken a lot of fire. Sporadic firing is still continuing throughout the town here. You can see there's pockets of guys that are still around here. I see a Mosin in that first story of that building. And it looks like some AA on the back of that truck. Got a few guys over there too. So maybe we haven't gone as deep into the town as I had thought. That's fine. Okay, so since I know that this construction building is clear, or at least pretty clear, I'm going to be moving down the stairs, and we're going to be going to that one location that you saw a little bit ago where I saw that AA on the back of the truck. I think that's where I'm going to be needed. So me and three, we're going to be doing this here as a team of two. As soon as I can go ahead and get him patched up here except he's dead oh it was that guy Whew. well he saved my life I think by him being dead I was a lot more attentive to what was going on around me here so I've got to watch some of these buildings got some guys moving up here on the right but you've got Soviets like this that are inside these buildings that could cause problems as they try and run across. He's down. And that Soviet flag, that's got to be somewhere important. Oh, we've got a, a field gun right here. We could take out some of our, our tanks as they try to move in. But I didn't forget this guy. That's one. Oh. I, I might have to do this a little bit farther back than I would like. This thing, it's so hard to try and fire it and be accurate. I've just got to do single shots one at a time. There we go. This guy, am I going to be able to get him? Nice. Still got a lot of ammunition left. Okay, those guys are trying to get set in here. I think uh, this has opened up 
the road a little bit more for him. I think the guy that I killed was in this room. Yes, he was. Okay, so this first floor is clear. Let's get up to the second floor. Looking good, except we've got a Soviet out in the road here. All right, got him too. Looks like my guys are finally getting out of that vehicle. They'll kind of offer some extra reinforcement here towards the center of town. So we're inching our way through, taking just a little bit at a time. Am I clear to go across? I can imagine I am. Okay, they're taking some fire. So while the enemy is focused on them, it's time for me to move up. It's that one guy who was in the sandbags earlier that I kind of ducked away from. Let's stay along this wall. Ooh. That shot was close. What we've got is somebody directly up in front of us. At that last building on the other side of the road, there's two guys that are in there. I don't think I want to risk popping my head up while two of them are staring at me. I think uh, one of them is a submachine gunner as well. Let's see if there's a way I can go through here. I don't see an easy way. I probably could try to just go ahead and climb up and across, but I don't know what's on the other side. That'll be pretty risky. We've got a couple guys around here. All right. Still got plenty of ammo. Ah, poke my head around. Take him out before he reloads. Ah. The guy took one shot at me. If I poke around again, he's going to take another shot, too. Okay, you should be all right now to see if he's still focused on me. Doesn't help with that bush right in front of me. Cool. Anybody else? Oh, we've got these guys. Okay, so that gunner's not going to be a problem for me. Let's check this. Oh, we got somebody in here. All right, this is clear. Oh. Okay. This one's clear. So we're going to reload since I had just one round left. I'm still taking some fire. I'm going to go out the back way here. Find out where this person is. Oh, they're in the sandbags right up ahead. Now, luckily, they're on the other side. So they don't have any cover. But they outnumber me. Okay, is there anything I can get from this guy that might be advantageous for me? Maybe another grenade or something like that that I can toss at him. I mean, this guy is a sergeant, so he should be somewhat well supplied. Okay. Do have grenades. I'll grab that first aid kit. Okay. RG42s. Switch to those. Because I'm sure I'll pick up more of them if I need to. Was there one guy there could have sworn there was two maybe i got the other guys i was falling back hopefully he hasn't gotten up and like run away okay i need to check the other side of that aa because i was pretty sure oh where am i being shot from um Oh, it's that building. Second story, building on the right. Not bad. It's another one I'm lucky that I got out of. Because I've been doing this solo. At least for a good chunk of this. I think I came in with the right weapon. And I was complaining a little bit at first, but... 
This is for sure the right one here for these close engagements that I've been a part of. Okay, I think I've got everybody taken care of. Yeah, it looks like we're clear. So I'm just going to go ahead, pop out of here. Nope, can't go in this building. So yeah, I'm going to leave this compound here in a bit and continue to clear some of these areas like with what's right up in front of me. Because we're going to need to capture all the roads in and out from here. We could potentially get more reinforcements coming around the town if needed to take this area out. We've got some guys up in those sandbags up ahead. I could go ahead and position my weapon here. Just kind of open up on them. Wow. I'm actually surprised that worked as well as it did. All right. We're going to try and throw this grenade. Perfect. It's going to try and bounce it off the sandbags, but it actually rolled right off to the right. So that position should be clear. All that we've got left, I think, is yep, some guys who are still over there who are on the other side of those sandbags. I don't think I'm taking any more fire off from the left. Don't see anybody at least on the first floor of this building. All right, I'm patched up. Oh, hi. I'm lucky that guy didn't jump out. Oh, I would have been a dead man, honestly. He might not have been armed or something like that, though. Okay, time to climb over here. What I might be able to do is if I can get across this street, I might be able to circle around and take that position that's been engaging me. At the very least, oh, I've got somebody else in that building. You see that rifle sticking out of the door? Just fire as I move. Hopefully one of these rounds hit him. I mean, if I run out of ammunition, there's obviously a lot around here that I can go ahead and try and pick up if I need to. Friendly or otherwise. Oh, good thing I checked that as I was moving up. Anybody else off over here? Oh, there's another weapon that I could see sticking out of that window. I don't want to veer too far away from my objective which is that last checkpoint i think you might have noticed how quiet it's actually gotten inside of the town i'm the only one who's pushed this far into town but i'm the only one also who's finding enemies so i think we've got everybody else going house to house on the inside and i don't think we're finding any other soviets besides the ones that are probably going to be right up here I might have to check a few buildings myself in this area. Get ahead of everybody. Oh, we got somebody in that doorway. I hope that this fence provides enough cover for me. Okay, I've got another grenade. So I could go ahead and throw it in that enclosed position. As long as I can make it in the door. Ah, dang it. I don't think that one worked. Unless it bounced in that small window on the right side. It's the only way I think that one made it in. Man, I'm doing pretty good here today when it comes to the grenades. Minus uh, throwing that smoke grenade at the beginning. All right, we've got him. And then there's that guy I was worried about. Okay, sweet. Last round of that magazine. Okay, so I think... This this road into town might also be clear. So if we've got all the roads into town, we've completed most of our objectives. Let me just make sure, though, that we have gotten everybody, at least around here. There was that building, you know, that I was engaged at by somebody on the first floor. Oh, yep, there's still somebody around here. It was this building that we had somebody in. That guy. I don't think there's anybody else here in this room. Oh, where's that fire coming from? Is that second floor? 
Are they trying to shoot me through the floor? I mean, it is Arma, so that has happened before. But what's he shooting at? That's the other part of this equation here. Okay, I thought he was going to be, like, right there. I've got this M39. My last grenade. All right, time to move up now and see if... Yep. Oh, we've got an officer here, too. We've got some intel. Ooh, this might be huge for us as we continue to try and push deeper into Germany. Okay, so this intel's mine, and it does give us some information on some Soviet positions. Oh, wow. Maybe that was the guy who was trying to shoot at me earlier. He's reloading. All right, I think I've gotten... I think this might have been the last building that I had to try and go ahead and and secure. All right, so it's time to go downstairs and link up with everybody else now and go ahead and end this mission. So we've been able to take the town. That means we've got an open gateway deeper into Germany, which the Soviets are going to have to be more cautious of some of the strikes and engagements that we have with them behind their lines. Hit some of their supplies, pull some people away from the front. So a critical victory here for the German resistance and one that's probably going to inspire them uh, to have some larger attacks like this in the future. So that's going to be it here for this video as we've successfully taken the town again. So please uh, like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe for some more of this type of content. Remember, this is a whole series. So the next mission, of course, is going to build off of this one. Donate to the Patreon. It goes to help out make these types of videos and other videos like this as well. It really does go a long way. So thank you for the donations that you've given me so far and hope to see some more from you guys here in the, a little bit. And also join the Discord. Let me know what you thought of this video on there as well as the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. War is hell. You don't have to worry because warfighters, I've got your six.